in the closet. So the hallway is extremely hot in this building. Uh, it's right through there. But um, it's weird. So just like the, the, what do you call it, lobby area for upstairs and downstairs is warm. But then the hallway is kind of cool. So but there's only one thermostat. So this is a train Veritrack system. I'm not sure exactly which RTU the, that serves those lobbies. But uh, I got green lights all around. So we're going to go ahead and look through these and see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so I think I found it. So it looks like we're on RTU-1. So if we hit view, it'll give us a list. So we have zone one, first common, zone two, second common. So that's first floor common, second floor common. So this is gonna be definitely our unit. Uh, so it's gonna be RTU-1, which is what we're dealing with. So we're gonna hit home, we're gonna go to alarms. And it looks like we have a communication failure. So it sounds like we're going on the roof. We're gonna go ahead and find uh, RTU one and see what's going on with it. Okay, so we are at RTU number one It's not doing anything So it's supposed to be in cool mode right now. So it looks like we got an issue with the actual RTU itself Because uh, it looks like the Veritrack system is calling for cool So we're gonna open this thing up and see what the heck's going on with it because it's supposed to be running right now I don't even think the blower is running Okay, so we got her opened up Blower's definitely not running. Nothing's running. Uh, I don't even see any blinking lights or nothing on these boards. I'm pretty sure they do have some LEDs on there. Uh, the VFD has no lights on it. So, first things first is do we have power? <coughs> so, we're going to check our line side first. And this is actually on. And it's three phase 208 and oh we got no voltage and nothing okay so we need to find the breaker so for some reason the breaker's been shut off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this off and yeah, I'm gonna find the breaker because I don't want it if it trips I want it to happen while I'm up here so now I gotta go find the breaker. So if we're lucky, it'll be in that same room, but with my experience, it's never that easy. So uh, we'll be back when we find the breaker. Okay, it looks like we found the electrical room. So we need to see if we can find our breaker. Oh yeah, here we go, RTU. So yeah, look at this one, it's tripped. So RTU one has been tripped for some reason. So we gotta see what's going on. We might have a bad compressor or something. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it to off. Okay, and we're gonna flip it to on. Now remember, we killed the disconnect up top, so it should hold. Okay, so we're back up here. Um, and I just noticed something. Uh, look at that, it's got electrical tape on it because it's a red wire, you gotta make it black, right? Um, but look down here, I got melted wires. So it looked like that wire got replaced at some point. Um, it looks okay, it looks down there pretty tight, but look at the one in the middle. Uh, this one right here, you can get in there. This one right here, look at that, it's not very good, so I'm probably gonna redo that. But first things first, we wanna make sure we're getting power. Uh, so we'll go ahead and stick those in there. Oh, it looks like this unit's 480 volts. Okay, so we're getting good there, so we're gonna check here. Okay, 500 volts, and then we're gonna check here. Yeah, 500 volts. Okay, cool. So we got voltage all around. Um, make sure we have no voltage on the load side. That way I don't get shocked when I change, fix this wire. Nope, nothing. Nothing. So yeah, it looks like this is three phase 480. So nothing. All right, cool. So we're going to fix this wire real quick and then uh, we'll crank it back on and see what happens. Okay, so we got her all fixed up. That's much better. Uh, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go ahead and use our test leads here so we're gonna power it up. Hopefully it doesn't trip right away. Um, what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. All right, so if the beep stops, we know it tripped. So we still have voltage. Okay. Yep. Looking good. 
Yeah, okay, so we have voltage on all three legs. I don't know what the heck that noise was. So let's go ahead and test this bad boy and see what's going on. So if we go test one to test two. Okay, blower's turning on. So we're gonna run her and put her in test mode. So we're gonna basically go test one, test two and hold. And I don't know if you can see that blinky light. Okay, so that was the compressor and that tripped our breaker. So we have an issue with the compressor, it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check it out. Okay, so we're just making sure that there's no, uh, we got no shorts on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the wiring. So this is a quick, easy way of doing it. Basically, I got it to ground, right? See, there you go. Uh, so we go here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now we're gonna check our compressor. Nothing. Oh, okay, so it looks like this leg here is grounded. So uh, let's ohm this out. So this is a three phase compressor. Uh, when we ohm it, we should have the same reading on all three legs. Uh, so let's try this here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this compressor is dead. So what we'll do is we'll kill, we'll bring the power back on, leave this unplugged. And, and then cycle through and see what's going on with that. So we got 44.4, and all three of these should be the, exactly the same. Yeah, look at that, see? So that's 0.895, and if we check these two, so this is for three-phase compressors, all they should be exactly the same. Yeah, so they're all, every single one's different. So yeah, this compressor's toast. So we're gonna leave it unplugged, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to cycle through, see if this compressor still works and then we'll go from there. Oh, and thankfully, it just tripped this breaker, it didn't trip the one downstairs because I still got power on the line side. So we're gonna flip her back on. Okay, and we have a solid light here. And when we put it to test like that, it's gonna start flashing. That tells us we're in test mode. Okay, so it's flashing now. So that means we're in test mode. So first thing's gonna happen is we're gonna get blower. Um, so that's pretty much gonna be economizer and blower, I believe. So now we just hit it again. Now you can actually put your jumpers on here and it'll cycle through it, but I like to control it one at a time. Okay, so that's that's our that's our first compressor circuit one. So it hasn't tripped, so it's definitely the compressor causing the problem. Okay, now if we hit it again, we're gonna get circuit two. Okay, so circuit two compressor works. Sounds absolutely horrible, but it works. Now if we do it again, we should on our uh, heating one. So we're gonna check it since we're here. Not sure if this is a two stage heat or a single stage heat. But basically if we hit it again, it would go into second stage if it has a second stage. We're just gonna make sure the heater works, even though it's summer, but here in Bend, it gets pretty cold in the evening, so usually there's a morning warm-up. Okay, so we got ignition. All right. And we're gonna hit it again. I don't know if you heard that, but it just kicked up. So that's heating too. We hit it again, and that's gonna turn it off. And as you can see, our light is solid again. So we are back in normal mode. So it looks like we got a bad compressor on this guy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that panel back on. I'm gonna put it on, uh, I'm gonna put the uh, cooling circuit two back on and we'll see uh, if it still sounds terrible. But yeah. Okay, so uh, I got all the details and then I've taped this off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure there's refrigerant in there and we're gonna make sure that there's no acid in there because uh, otherwise we're gonna have to quote them for a new uh, refrigerant which just holds 8.40 pounds of R22 super expensive uh, and then um, if there is no acid then I'll hook up a gauge and see how much refrigerant is in there um, but if it has acid I'm not going to do that because I don't want to contaminate my gauges because uh, it won't matter because we'll have to take it out anyway so yeah okay so we got our thing here so we're going to put it on our suction line and then we're gonna press for, it says two seconds. I usually do four seconds. 
Uh, and if it changes color, that means it's got acid. If it stays the same, then there's no acid. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Immediately turn red. So yeah, it's definitely got acid. Not putting any gauges on it. Um, ooh, that's not good. So that means that entire system is contaminated with acid. Uh, oof. So, um, that means when we do this, we're going to have to recover the refrigerant and uh, thoroughly clean my recovery machine when I'm done with it. Uh, definitely get rid of that recovery tank and then we need to flush the heck out of this thing and probably put it... Um, see, the problem with these is you got so many little circuits and stuff. If you put like regular flush in here, you know, that stuff's for line sets. It's not for all these coils, so it's going to get stuck in there. So we're probably going to want to blow the heck out of this with nitrogen and then we'll put a, a acid reducer acid uh, uh what's it called um uh it's an acid uh i can't remember the word but basically it kills the acid so we're gonna have to do that uh acid inhibitor or something like that we might even want to put a suction line dryer on this guy uh so yeah that's not good so that's gonna be 8.40 pounds Oof, man look at that it's like pink hot pink but anyway, um, yeah, so we're done here. We're going to go ahead and close this thing back up, turn it back on, uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, quote out a new compressor with a line dryer and probably a suction line dryer and go from there. So anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.